p to the power of 3 multiplied by p to the power of x equals p to the power of 9. Find the value of x. So for this question we need to know the algebraic principle that something to the power of x multiplied by the same thing to the power of y will be equal to that number to the power of x plus y. So we can apply this principle to this question. So if we use this rule, this means that p to the power of 3 multiplied by p to the power of x will give us an answer of p to the power of 3 plus x. So if p to the power of 3 multiplied by p to the power of x equals p to the power of 3 plus x, then this means that p to the power of 3 plus x is equal to p to the power of 9. So we can simplify this down to 3 plus x is equal to 9. And then if we minus 3 from both sides, we get an answer of x equals 6. Seven squared to the power of y equals seven to the power of 10. Find the value of y. So for this question, we need to know the algebraic principle that a to the power of x to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x multiplied by y. So again, we can apply this rule to this question. So if this is the case, and this means that seven squared to the power of y will be equal to 7 to the power of 2y. So if 7 squared to the power of y is equal to 7 to the power of 2y, then this means that 7 to the power of 10 is equal to 7 to the power of 2y. And we can simplify this down to 10 is equal to 2y. And this tells us that y is equal to 5. One hundred to the power of a multiplied by one thousand to the power of b can be written in the form ten to the power of w. Show that w equals two a plus three b. So if one hundred to the power of a multiplied by one thousand to the power of b can be written in the form ten to the power of w, then this means that a hundred a multiplied by one thousand b equals ten to the power of w. So now what we need to do is solve this equation. And the way to do this is to write 100 and 1000 as 10 to the power of something. So if we start off with 100, so 100 is equal to 10 squared. So we can rewrite 100a as 10 squared all to the power of a. Next 1000 to the power of b. So 1000 can be rewritten as 10 cubed and this will all be to the power of b. So now 10 squared to the power of a, because the 10 squared is in the brackets, we'll multiply the powers together. So this will give us 10 to the power of 2a, and then 10 cubed to the power of b will give us 10 to the power of 3b, and this is all equal to 10 to the power of w. Now what we can do is multiply these two numbers together. And 10 to the power of 2a multiplied by 10 to the power of 3b will give us 10 to the power of 2a plus 3b. So therefore 10 to the power of w equals 10 to the power of 2a plus 3b. And what this means is that 2a plus 3b is equal to w. Now this question's worth two marks. So we'll get our first mark for rewriting 100a multiplied by 1000b as 10 squared to the power of a multiplied by 10 cubed to the power of b. And we'll get our second mark for showing that w equals 2a plus 3b with the correct reasoning.